What color your Damaru is doesn't matter. Traditionally, a Damaru is made of skull. Okay, you don't go and kill Joe and make his Damaru skull and say, oh, you collect Marilla. What they usually do is, in ancient Indian and Tibetan times, Nepali, they don't bury the dead. They take it to the cremation ground, they do prayers, they mash it, and they mix uh, flour with it, and with prayers they offer it to the birds to collect last merit for people. So there's a lot of skulls and everything left. And even one more act of merit, they take their skulls, they clean it, they purify it, they ask the, the lamas to bless the skull, so the person collect merit, and they use the skull to place the instrument. So the instrument, how long it exists to make offerings, it collects merit for the person who has died. Okay, so let's say this person died, very old, and they said, oh, you know, please do prayers for my next life. So we take their body to the cemetery, and we, with prayers, we wash it, we clean it, with a lot of respect, they chop it up, and with a lot of care and mantras, they mash it together with tsampa, with Tibetan flour, F-L-O-U-R, and then they roll it in balls, and with prayers, they throw it to the birds, and when the birds eat, they make prayer, the monks. May the person whose body is being eaten gain a good life by offering this to the birds. And then they have the bones left and they wash the bones and they clean it and they purify it with a lot of respect. And then they cut and they take the skull and they make damarus from it. They may take from damarus, they purify it, they paint it with saffron and colors and then they seal it and they put a skin over it and then they play it and they offer it to people who are doing practice. Sincere tantric practice. And every time they use it, the person who's died, they will gain the merit. This is the theory. And, and they also use this bone. This is called a thigh bone trumpet. Sometimes they'll take this part of the bone with respect, clean and wash, purify it. And then they'll put um, a top and a bottom. They use that during tantric ritual also.